Hey everybody, welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Elite Dangerous. This is going to be the first of two parts for a season finale for uh, Elite Dangerous. And uh, what I have here is after uh, all the extra money that I made with the Lake on Type 6, I've invested in a new adder and got uh, kitted out with some exploration gear. So let's take a look at the modules that I have currently set up for this. Um, I got myself a fuel scoop so that I can... Uh, you know, so I don't have to worry about buying, stopping around and getting gas and stuff like that. I upgraded the frame shift drive to a Class B frame shift drive, giving me an un, uh, a, uh, unladen jump range of 14.93 light years. And um, I have a little bit of a cargo uh, rack capacity, not much left. In fact, I might replace this with something else. <clears throat> um, uh, the auto field maintenance, maintenance kit or something like that. I have a detailed surface scanner uh, uh, set up and available, and I have an intermediate uh, intermediate discovery scanner. So the intermediate scanner allows me to uh, identify any unidentified, um, or at least locate any unidentified uh, stellar bodies uh, within a thousand light seconds of radius. It's not quite as far as the advanced discovery scanner, but um, you know that's actually pretty good. What we start off with right there. So let's see about. Um, Maybe getting an auto field maintenance kit. I wonder if they have a bigger class. Yeah, class two. Sure. So this ship is pretty much all self-sustaining now. Um, it cost almost exactly a million credits or so to, to put together. Uh, and we're actually going to fly out to the Tashitter sector and do some surveying in the area. We'll take a look at the galaxy map. Here I am at LP254-26. If I head down here, we can see that the Tashitter sector uh, has a lot of undiscovered stuff around it. So we're just going to start flying around here and uh, discovering stuff as we go. So let's go ahead and set our destination to this and get underway. Apparently our shields are charging up. So I've had a cold for the past few days and haven't done any recording. Ship released. Engines Still have a bit of a cold as you can tell my voice. Oh. Okay, I'll shut up so you guys can hear this engine sound. And this is also weird flying on the right side of the cockpit. It's like driving in in uh, Great Britain. So it has a sound design similar to the to, to the hauler, actually. Landing gear retracted. All right, we're going to spend the next two episodes flying around and mapping this Tashitter sector stars that are out here using our fuel scoop. Frameship drive charging. Making sure I have my fire groups all set up. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we'll go ahead and target this one and get it scanned. Fire up the discovery scanner. And there we go. Um, Next one, I believe, is going to be that uh, B2-3. We'll take a look.
Indeed it is. Now we can take a look at the uh, go to the galaxy map here. So I'm looking at the info tab and we can see actually that this uh, <clears throat> info tab actually shows a uh, second star type. Um, an L5V. So I'm going to want to find that before I get too far. Ooh, unfortunately the adder has a pretty terrible um, viewpoint or viewport. It's hard to see anything. So we're going to get ourselves up to speed here and do some uh, the old uh, parallax scanning for moving stars. just really quick if I see any stars that are moving with respect to the background then I know that those are likely candidates uh, for this other star that's hidden in the system somewhere if I had enough money I could have got the advanced surface uh, the advanced scanner and then wouldn't, wouldn't have to worry about this at all I'm not seeing anything offhand That's okay. We'll go ahead and fly off. There's an awful lot of bright stars clustered up around there. Any one of those could be it, actually, as well. So it's really hard to tell. But French I'll go ahead and fly uh, to HMV uh, B2-3 and get that scanning done. So the advanced surface scanner just augments your normal scanner. And when you're facing a stellar object that you're scanning, it automatically um, picks up any additional data. All right. Fuel scooping. Yeah, we're going to worry about scooping in just a bit. While we're here, we'll go ahead and explore this. Fire up the discovery scanner. Okay, let's go ahead and... We have fueled ourselves up to full. Now, an unidentified signal source, which I don't really care about all that much. And I'm not seeing any ships really flying around. Galactic Map says also there's also one additional star in this particular spot. But that's okay, we'll go to... Um, the next Tachiter Sector Star, which is over here. Any one of these points of light really could be the other star. Charging. Now what I'd like to find is a star. I mean, we're pretty deep in, fer in federal territory. I'd like to find a star with some planets around it. Four, and scan three, those too. Two, one, so I now have three ships in my arsenal. I have this adder. Uh, built for exploration. Fuel scooping. I have the Viper Fuel for bounty hunting. Complete. And I have that uh, Lake on Type 6 for hauling cargo. Fuel scoop disengaged. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else here that I can spot right away, at least not within a thousand light seconds. Um, just continue flying around exploring stuff. Frameshift drive charging. 
Head to Tassadar Sector DGXB13. And explore that star as well. Alright, hit the brakes and get ourselves ready to scan this star. There we go. Fuel scooping. Go ahead and get ourselves scooping. And what about this one? We don't have haven't explored this one yet. Let's go there. DGX B14. And you can see that there and then if you look straight ahead, there are definitely two sister stars there. So if I flew around enough, I could actually find the second star in all these. Seems like all of these are binary star systems. So I'm just using target forward to target the uh, star ahead of me and letting the additional scanning take place automatically. Yeah, this one actually only has one star. The Red Dwarf Star Galaxy Map. Let's see what else we got around us here. Explored. Explored. We've got this G85-36 area that we can get to in a couple of hops. So we'll go ahead and go there. We know our jump range is really, really far. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameship drive charging. We'll just make two hops to this unexplored star over there. Four, three, two, one, engage. All right, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. Uh, this is the one that we already had. There it is. Frameship drive charging. This is going to be a big jump to G eighty five thirty six. Really, hundred fifty percent heat. Four, three, it's a little high. Two, one, engage. Okay. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> A whole bunch of stuff around to check out. I'm just giving this star a scan. And then we'll start uh, checking out all these other things. How's it got our fuel scooping done? Fuel scoop disengaged. Need to get closer. Fuel scooping. Since I'm out exploring, I don't want, I don't know if I can, you know, stop and buy fuel anywhere. There probably aren't any stations for me to buy fuel from. So Trying to stay close to the sun and scoop up, get refilled up here. Oh, 
Almost done. Fuel speed complete. Okay, <clears throat> let's get ourselves aimed Fuel over at these uh, stellar objects. Like that one. Just fly on over and give them a scan when we get close. Scan the ones that are closest first. Get those out of the way. Really? This is going to be a planet of some kind. We have ourselves an icy planet. This is going to be another star, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Just waiting for the scan to complete. Their surface scanner. Uh, another icy planet. Keeping my throttle down in the blue zone while I do the scan so I don't overshoot the place. And another icy planet. All right, next, next, out here. Oh, bother. There we go. 350 light seconds away. Um, <clears throat> whatever that is. Hmm. Must have already explored it. Okay, 10 seconds. We're slowing down to the blue zone. There we go. I'm going to slow it way down for this scan. And then we'll check out the next object. Which is this one? And periodically checking the old detailed scan, uh, the, uh, the discovery scanner, see if anything new shows up. So it'll be just a little bit before we get over here to this unexplored um, ast astro astronomical body. The old detailed surface scanner right there. Six seconds. Time to start really slowing down. Give this scan some time to work itself out. And one more object over here at 1,200 light seconds. So let's go get that. fly off in this direction. Everything nicely lined up. We can keep an eye out Oops, for any parallax um, anomalies. If we see any bright dots in space moving at an angle that we haven't yet scanned, and we know we need to go there. I'm not seeing anything, uh, anything else really. We'll get over here to this unexplored, and um, once we start scanning it with the uh, advanced surface scanner, we will go ahead and uh, 
pop off the discovery scanner to see if we find anything else. Just closing in. Okay, we're at 10 seconds, so I'll slow down to blue on my throttle. There we go, we're scanning now. Go ahead and slow down even further to give us plenty of time. And fire up the discovery scanner at the same time. See if we notice anything else out here. Nope, we did not. And we have another icy planet. So let's take a look at the system map. We have discovered a whole bunch of argon-rich um, <clears throat> neon, helium, and such uh, icy planets. And G85. What else around here is unexplored? We have this Tashler Sector 1 down even further south, so uh, we'll go ahead and set course for that. And all that good stuff. We had a whole bunch of really good discoveries here. Um, gave you a tour of the ship. We'll go ahead and take a look around really quick. This is what the ASP looks like on the interior. Reminds me very much of the hauler, except I'm sitting in the right hand seat. Which is backwards for me. Okay. Uh, that is where I'm actually going to end episode 9. Tune in again on episode 10 as I continue doing explorations. In episode 10, we'll do some exploration and then fly at least 20 light years away to make sure and sell all of our data and see how much money we can get for the discoveries. So until then, take care, keep flying, and stay shiny. Goodbye.